today we had three amazing talented designers um, a duo actually uh, to present the first show um, talking about diverse fashion so we have with us uh, Selish Singhania Sayantan Sarkar and Ruchi Tripathi and Jaya Bhatt from the label Indigene uh, lovely to see your presentation it was really a fresh take um, on what fashion is, sustainable fashion especially. So um, I'd like to take the opportunity to have each of the designers talk about their presentation and the collection that we just saw. So could I have uh, the Indigene team talk about it first? Uh, hi everybody, uh, I'm Ruchi and uh, I'm Jaya. Jaya. So uh, Indigene uh, is, stands for conscious clothing and uh, this particular collection was also basically continuing our effort towards conscious uh, clothing. Uh, we worked on the Japanese philosophy of preserving old textiles and clothes. Uh, hence, we name it something old, something new. So we have, we're using a lot of our old fabric scraps into making garments. There's a lot of patchworking, uh, texturing that happens through Sujini hand embroidery. And uh, that's the basic, basic idea of just improvising on something that you already have and preserve it uh, so that it can stay with you for many num uh, number of years. Uh, we work with uh, uh, handmade textiles and uh, that's what we've, been show we've showcased at the range. Thank you. Uh, it really is a complete and optimal use of, you know, uh, fabric waste. When you see it, it looks so beautiful. Uh, so it's, it's a, it was a beautiful show all in all. Uh, Sayantan, I'd like to take, ha have you speak about uh, your show. I believe it was inspired by Greek mythology. If you could let us know a little, let us know a little bit it's, more. It's, uh, hi everybody, this is Sayantan. Uh, this collection is inspired from military uh, wear, but it's called Children of War. And uh, children of war doesn't mean we are talking about war as in uh, war. It's a war inside, basically. So uh, you see, with urbanization, we kind of change. And this constant fear of change is something that we have a conflict within ourselves. So this is, uh, it's not like prim and proper military. It's rebellious. It's something which is not uh, regular. And uh, I have been working with handlooms for the last four seasons, probably. And uh, I have been trying to promote khadi, uh, which is obviously something very close to my heart. So this, uh, the reason I chose military is because we've tried to use khadi in suitings, like you know, taking heavier khadi and trying to make the yarns work better in, uh, like more like denims. So uh, this was the uh, total idea behind the collection. I believe uh, I've achieved some, but more to go. Thank you. Uh, Salish, I would like to hear from you, especially because your collection was themed the winter rose. Yeah. So uh, what was the inspiration like when you were putting something like that together? Uh, the inspiration was like uh, Indian princesses, Gayatri Devi, Sita Devi, uh, Daru, Nizam. Yeah, these princesses, when they used to travel Paris, London, abroad, so they, there was a compulsion for them to wear a sari, 100%. So sari with the jackets and all would look more smarter. And people used to appreciate them like left and right. They used to say they look fab and when they're carrying saris in London, Paris. So the same theme was inspired me uh, for the show. And Radhika looks the part like a complete yeah. modern day princess. <laughs> uh, Radhika, if you thought I forgot about you, uh, it's not going to happen. I am, I am going to get to you because uh, we've seen you a lot during Lakme Fashion Week over the years, um, where you've been a showstopper, you've been a part of shows, you've been a guest. Uh, there's always an edgy appeal when it comes to the way you carry off the clothes and you know, even support the designers. What was it like today walking the ramp? Because you look like a goddess completely. So I want to know from you, you know, how did you feel vivacious? Did you feel edgy? What, what were your thoughts? I always feel stressed <laughs> walking the ramp. <laughs> so, so, uh, so those whatever few minutes, I'm, I'm always stressed. But, uh, but he told me a story today about like, because he said that it was pr uh, inspired by a princess who traveled to Europe and got married to foreigners there. So I thought it was my story, just that I wasn't a princess. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I relate to that, I'm kidding. But uh, it's just that I think they have beautiful hand-woven handloom uh, fabrics and I, uh, I, don't, I don't own any or I don't get the chance to wear any. So um, uh, also that... It's, it's a very tricky combination to do uh, Indian traditional wear with jackets and with European um, uh, clothing. So I was quite very curious, and I think he's pulled it 
pulled off so beautifully. His kirgots are really, really stunning. So I really wanted to. I'm very grateful that he uh, asked me to be the showstopper. Thank you to all of our designers. A beautiful start to day three. Could not be happier and excited about this. I'm just going to open the floor to questions from the media. Uh, could we have hear from the media, please? Sandra, I have a question to you. What inspired you to use Kavion jackets? The buttons you can see. Hello. Yeah, I'm like, you know, when you talk about military, we talk about a lot of metallics. So I have <laughs> metallics, but then we are, uh, we are primarily earthy people as a label, Shaintan Sarkar. So our buttons have to be slightly handmade, obviously. So there is always a touch of something which is crafted. Khadi, uh, we've used in many shows where it's flowy, it's beautiful, it's soft. What if Khadi actually becomes something like denim? Usage, more suitings, yes, usage more. We can develop a lot many possibilities with our own handlooms. It's just that we keep need we need to keep exploring. So this is just part of an exploration. Probably next next is what? You know the Samsung tagline. So I believe in that next is what. Thank you. Sarish, can you take us to that? Like these are roses when the jewelry moat is woven on it. Each rose is uh, you could see it's a perfect petals and the scallops with the leaves, it's woven perfectly. It's like scallops coming. We have added a small more liner here to add on the look of it. Plus, it's a rose border to it. We have work, uh, been working for this, and it's a suede silk. The texture of the silk is very different with the rose border. So the, it goes with the theme very well. She is wearing a mushroom blouse. So we have club three, four textures of the fabrics. Basically, we work with 22 different handwoven clusters where we develop uh, all sort of textures in silks and cottons with the weavers, giving them, supporting them for jacquards, supporting them for the jala designs, handwoven textures. So this idea was for the roses and clubbing three different areas of texture, like lehenga is a banarsi, blouse is a mushroom from Ahmedabad, and again, we have tried to club some gadwal work on it. I've never worn a cape before in my life, so this is the <laughs> first time. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's uh, growing on me. <laughs> Would you be adding this to your wardrobe? I mean, we shall see. If I play a superwoman, I probably will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? It, 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 yeah, I think it is. it keeps you warm. And it, it, it uh, also stops you from having people behind you pushing you in a queue. I'm kidding. I don't know what to say, but uh, yeah, I have. I've never. I've never worn it. And uh, uh, actually, when we were doing trials, it was just a cape, and it didn't have a jacket. And today, there was a jacket added to it. So it's it's very new for me uh, to look at, to wear, to feel, uh, to carry. And I'm always uh, very curious to experiment with different things. So I'm I'm very happy today because I, I, I it's so new. I feel very different. Uh, I needed a method actor who could actually just justify to the whole look. So I could not think beyond than Radhika. So I actually asked for Radhika to her team from past, I think, two months I'm asking. And Radhika, are you a princess from heart or a human of clay? Oh, I'm a complete labor. I'm not no princess. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any more questions? Uh, yeah, well, uh, so because our theme is, uh, hello, yeah, it's uh, inspired by the J Japanese uh, aesthetics. Uh, these are uh, samurai caps. I mean, it's a take on the samurai caps. So, you know, these are like <coughs> ninja warriors. <laughs> Um, so, you know, when we've done layering because we've used so many different kinds of textiles. There's silk cotton, there's uh, cotton, there's eddy silk, there's also some denim that we've done this time. So, uh, really because, uh, unfortunately, we just get 12 looks to show. So, you know, the idea of putting a combination together, which also helps uh, 
maybe a probable customer to understand what how you can team up the garment really uh, impactfully. And I have a question for Radhika. It's the season, uh, season of winter and festive season. So what is the festive look for you? Uh, I'll ask Shailesh to give me something, I guess, for <laughs> Diwali this time. <laughs> My first uh, show in Lakme was with uh, Batik. Second show was with Jamdani. Third show was with Khadi, Linen, and uh, Jamdani. Fifth show was with Gamcha. Sixth show is Khadi shootings. Seventh, I don't know. I'm still thinking. <laughs> so, uh, Bangla, obviously, Thakbe. <laughs> I am still to complete all the crafts on my state. I would do that by the 10th or the 11th show, probably. <laughs> Promising words to no. We're looking forward to that. So he he should be able to tell you more about the the whole uh, the hand loom and hand woven uh, fabrics that he works with. But I think it's a it's a, it's his whole inspiration is from taken from the princess who used to travel to Europe, and uh, uh, so it's a combination of taking our traditional wear there and combining it with the winter weather there because you can't just wear a sari or a. You know, the weather there is very different, so it's about jackets and the capes and everything. Okay, uh, what was the inspiration and your connection? See, my inspiration was same. The Indian princesses, when they used to travel abroad, the compassion was there with them for to wear saris and Indian ways. So on that, they used to carry with jackets, capes. They used to look very smart. So I really wanted to bring that air in 1930s, 40s, when Princess Gayatri Devi, Sita Devi, they used to travel abroad. With the capes, jackets, and Indian wear on it. I can't tell you about the status of fashion. Okay, thank you.